Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this picture. And if I understand them right, they want to do this right here because they want to be able to mask the birds off. And they wanted to separate the birds from the stick so they could mask them off and paint them different colors. Well, this is their drawing, and you can see it's it's by far not a perfect drawing, but it will work. Uh, I would actually look on the internet and find some other birds, personally, and uh, you, you can get some really sharp birds, but I'm not going to go there. I'm going to go with his birds. And so to do this, I'm going to take a rectangle, and I'm going to, let me see how big my rectangle is. It's seven, almost eight inches. I'm going to set my nudge factor on nine. I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in, and then move it out of the way. Look at there. We have a outline of, an, of the birds. I can left click, right click. And then all you have to do is manually add some lines. And I would actually, uh, you know, maybe straighten up these lines, uh, but it is a branch. So you got to remember that. And then just kind of use your imagination and use your two point line or three point curve line and go from there to there and I'm actually drawing in half a point, or uh, he does. I would actually normally draw in hairline on this case, but two-point line. And don't kind of go to the curve. Uh, kind of go to the flat part of the curve and go up. And then just do the same thing there. And we'll show you in just a second. Now, we've still got our nudge factor set pretty high. I'm going to change my color to a blue, just for instance. And we're going to fill in that bird. Well, I actually want to nudge it down. Fill in that bird, nudge it down. And then I'm going to fill in the branch and nudge it down, branch, nudge it down, branch, nudge it down. Now, I would suggest strongly to take your bird, hold down the shift, take your other bird and select it. And then go up to object and group these sticks together or the branch. And then you could left, if you're going to engrave that, of course, you'd want to make it black. And the same thing on the bird, you want to make them black. But you could actually run these in two different jobs if you had it masked over. And just remember, wherever you're doing it on the board, let's just get rid of all this. And let's say you're trying to do it. Well, let's just put them up here. Let's say if you're if you got it up here, and you want to engrave the sticks first, take the birds completely off the page, like maybe make them 15 inches, take them off the page, and engrave engrave that to whatever depth you want, and you know through them. He's actually talking about mask. And then take it off the page and bring your birds back. And then you can engrave them and with a different mask. And, you know, maybe remask it and paint it. I'm a little bit lost on that scenario. But that's how I would personally do that. You know, the birds aren't too bad of uh, shape. But they're, you know, they're birds. So how, how, how smooth do they need to be, you know? their mother nature and could have ruffled feathers. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit and thank you for watching.